Welcome to this Final Cut Pro 10 training. My name is Larry Jordan. This is Chapter 7, Organizing the Timeline. And in this session, I want to talk about the magnetic timeline. Our goals for this session are to define the magnetic timeline, show you how it works, and provide special instructions when using connected clips. The magnetic timeline automatically maintains clip connections and sync when dragging clips in a timeline by moving any interfering clips out of the way. <laughs> this reminds me of the night bus in Harry Potter, where buildings jump out of the way as the bus careens past. The power of the magnetic timeline is that you can't accidentally overwrite a clip when you move another clip. You don't need to select connected clips to move them with a clip and you are moving all related, that is, connected clips, at the same time. This is truly a revolutionary interface which avoids problems as you move clips during editing. You can drag one or multiple clips, and dragging a clip or multiple clips or a connected storyline with other clips connected to it moves all the connected clips as well. Best of all, this works for all media that is edited into the timeline. So let me show you how to move a single clip, move multiple clips, move a primary storyline clip with a connected clip, or move a primary storyline clip with a connected storyline. And I want to show you what you need to select when moving a clip. Okay, let's put this into practice. Here's a clip. I want to move it between these two clips. So I click hold and drag the clip and drag it. And notice that as soon as I let go, the clip is moved into the new position and the clip that was after it got shuffled ahead of it. Piece of cake. All right, let's try this clip, which has got a connected piece of audio with it. I'm going to grab it and drag it up. And when I drag it, I'm not holding any keys down. I'm just clicking and dragging. And notice that even though I didn't select it, the audio clip that was connected to that clip moved with it. Or here, I've got a shot where I've got both the connected audio and video clip. Grab the clip, drag it down, let's decide, no, I'm going to put it right here, drop it, and everything shuffles out of the way. Here, for instance, I've got a connected storyline with some clips, and I've got several clips in the timeline, only one of which is the connected clip. The audio is connected to this clip, and the connected timeline is connected to this clip. If I grab this single clip and move it, notice that everything connected to it moves with it and everything else moves out of the way. Or, Command-Z to undo. If I want to move all three of these timeline clips so they stay with the B-roll, I'll hold the Command key down. Notice that I am just selecting the primary storyline clip. Don't select the connected clips. Now when I grab this and move it, everything that I've got selected and that which is connected to it moves with it and all the other clips move out of the way. I made a big point of saying that you only select the primary storyline clip. Let me show you why. Command Z to undo. This time I'm going to draw a rectangle around to select all the clips. Now when I move it and drag it, notice that it's deconstructed that whole connected storyline and laid everything down into the timeline. It's not what I want. I've lost the relationship of the B-roll to the picture. So when you are moving multiple clips in the primary storyline and there are clips connected to them, just select the primary storyline clip and move that. Let's say you want to move this clip. If you grab a single clip, you're going to move it out and it becomes a standalone clip. Instead, you want to grab the connected storyline bar that's at the top. You grab this top bar. That moves the connected storyline. If you grab an individual clip, it'll move the individual clip out of the storyline. And now it's a single connected clip, and the storyline is that much shorter when you took that clip out of it. So, in summary, we grab what we want on the primary storyline, drag it where we want it to go, and all the other clips will shuffle out of the way. The magnetic timeline is simply stunning in how easy it is to change the position of a clip without messing up the rest of your project. The key is to select the primary storyline clip only, and all connected clips will move with that clip automatically. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching this Final Cut Pro 10 training.